Hi, this is Joe from Martellian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy going on here, and we are looking at Mars, but we are not looking at Gale Crater or Endeavour Crater. We are looking at Morph Vallis region here, the Morph uh, Vallis region, and links will be below in the description as usual. And we have this area, but some of these the problem is with some of these images they're quite big to download. So, uh, yeah, so they're sort of over two, three hundred megabytes, four hundred megabytes. Uh, you can get the map projected one at one five six IRB color, but the color isn't that great. Um, so I recommend you look at this on Google Earth. And uh, this was sent in to me, in fact, uh, by one of my subscribers, and the name George, I think. And let's have a look here, right? No, it's not George, it's Jeffrey. And let's go to first the first uh, area here. Now this is more Fallis region. And luckily, NASA have been taking some nice high-rise camera images of this area. And this particular strip here is pretty huge. Has loads and loads of what look like city structures. Now, before we get too excited, some of them may not be, of course. Just because they resemble cities doesn't mean they are cities. Uh, but I'll explain more about that in a minute. <laughs> so let's look at this one first, because this is by far the, the most interesting. But there are loads of areas here to look at. And if you follow this kind of blue strip here, you can just follow it north. And there are loads and thousands and thousands of structures down here. And they look kind of square. And they're all in kind of lines, like terraces. They look like terrace houses. I'm not saying they are terrace houses, but they look like terrace houses. Uh, now they're not huge. A lot of these, let's, let's get the ruler. A lot of them are kind of square. A lot of them are kind of polygon shaped. They're not all square, they're not all rectangular. Let's do it in feet. All right, let's just measure one of those. Let's go for that one there. That's kind of an average side, size there. Yeah, five foot across. Now I'm not sure that if, if this ruler thing is correct. Uh, to me, that seems completely wrong, because um, judging by other things that I found on Mars at that eye level, uh, these should be bigger, because we're at three thousand meters, right? Three, let's get to three thousand. It's uh, minus three thousand meters. Okay, eye altitude. Let's get to three thousand there. Right. Okay, approximately anyway, two thousand six hundred. You wouldn't expect to see a five foot. Uh, square kind of shape from that height. I, I, I don't know. I'll run some checks on that and see if it's wrong, but um, I, don't, I don't completely trust the, the ruler measurement on Google Earth. This is Google Mars, of course. And to get to Google Mars, you just click on the planet icon up here and select Mars. I'll show you where to look. So you don't need coordinates. There will be coordinates and links below anyway in the description. But basically, you look for this big kind of dark grey rectangle with a blue strip up it. OK? Just here. Now, of course, it's got all my icons on there where I've found stuff, but it's, it's just kind of above and to the left of this square, grey square here, which is um, where I did a video about Benton Crater, the, uh, the dome and pyramid structure. So there'll be a link to that video as well at the end, so you can click on that. So without further ado, I'll show you these briefly and then I'll show you some clips and then but I'm not going to show you them in great detail because you can see the clips coming up in about five or ten minutes and you can also go on Google Mars yourself and have a proper look yourself I don't want to spoil it completely for you because these are quite stunning they really are let's go back to number one this is city one there's a whole row of these areas and this one this was sent in by Jeffrey Bulmer just a few days ago and he sent me a clip and said, check out this area on Google Mars. And I was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Not only are the colours amazing, but the actual structures themselves are really quite clear. And it does look like a city, which is partially covered in sand, sand dunes. Now, of course, these may be natural structures, but when you look at some of it, it kind of looks like natural rock uh, patterns on the ground. But then you have some that don't. Uh, like over here, let's, let's, let me just demonstrate that. I'll try and zoom in. My mouse is a bit knackered here. 
you have what look like natural structures here, and then you go to the right, and then you have what look like very unnatural structures, all in long lines, okay? So there we have it. Let's go to number two. So I'll let you have a look along here yourself, because I don't want to spoil it completely for you, because it is really, really quite stunning. And um, you can look for yourself and, and see for yourself. Uh, okay, so let's go to number three, which is further north. This one is not in colour and looks like a city with roads. Okay, you've got all these road light structures here. And uh, you've got what looks like a city. But if these are houses, which they may not be, of course, they may be completely natural. I mean, you've got, you've got a right angle there. I mean, what's that? Is that a road going on there? And they're kind of parallel. I mean, when, obviously, if you've ever been on the plane, like I go quite regularly, two or three times a year, four times a year. You look down on the, on, the, on the city from above, this is what they look like. Uh, you know, it's just insane. So that was number three. I'll give you a bit of context there, where to look. It's just to the, to the right of that strip there. Let's orientate that north. Okay. Let's go to number four. This one was cool. And uh, the, the blue area is obviously better to look at because you've got full colour. This looks like a load of intelligent structures here with roads parallel and in between. I mean, of course they may not be, they, they, these may just be natural structures. Let's, let's go to number five. It's a bit more convincing when you see the enhanced contrast images I've done. Number five, there, this was pretty cool. Look at this. I mean, it, it almost looks like reptilian skin, uh, you know, like scales. And it's very similar to a video I did while, a while ago but the scale is completely different if the scale is right for this. I did a video uh, last year, towards the end of last year, called Millions of Mars Domes, and there was these structures. Now, these are hundreds of feet across, so these are much larger, and these are to the north of, of Mars, near the North Pole, in the polar region, okay? And these are huge, but very similar looking. So I'm wondering whether the scale's out on, on uh, Google Mars. So check this video out, Millions of Mars Domes, Giant Alien City Structures. There's, there's millions of these things, and, there, and there's all sorts of other things as well. And it goes in real close. There's all these kind of little dome things, and they, some of them look metallic, like these. So there will be a link to this at the end, so you can check that out. Um, so basically, yeah, let's go back to where we were. I'll show you now. I won't, I won't go through all the uh, areas that I've saved on here. Let's, go, let's quickly go to six here because you can search yourself and you can look all the way up this strip and, and discover for yourself how amazing this looks. Now this one was cool because not only was there what looked like a load of buildings up here, although these seem to be more random, this looks like a kind of lake here and what looks like a reflection of this kind of rocky outcrop and a reflection of it here. Now. Of course, this could be ice, and the ice could be reflecting uh, from here, just here. Who knows? But this was really cool, this one. Up here, there's loads and loads of structures that look like a city up here. But a lot clearer in the enhancements, we'll show you in a minute. Um, let's go to number eight quickly. I don't want to take too long with this, because there's so much to see here. I mean, I could go on for an hour, but I'm not going to do that. Let's try and keep this short for you. I know a lot of you uh, prefer the shorter videos as well, so that's cool. But yeah, there's loads of these scale-like kind of city kind of looking structures up here as well. So we go all the way up this strip. Let me zoom out. Let's orientate that north again, because it kind of goes the other way otherwise. Right, okay, let's go back. All right, will it let me? Come on, come on, that's it, there we are. So look all the way up, the, up here and you will see all these kind of structures. I'm now going to qu quickly show you. Here's the, 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 the main image. Uh, I actually advise you look at it on Google Earth, really, because these images are so large, and actually they don't look as bright. They're a bit dull looking. You've really got to brighten them up, and they're really big um, and uh, a bit unwieldy. So I'll show you some of the, the clips I've taken from Google Earth instead, because these are actually brighter and easier to look at. Okay. So some of these have been enhanced. Here's the enhanced clip. I've just brightened it and played with the contrast. This was really cool, this one. 
you've got this kind of golden coloured sort of mountain here surrounded by these what look like house structures all in rows long lines and they go right across here all the way across here up to here and they carry on into the black and white area as well but uh, so there was that one there will be a, I will be putting these clips in at the end for you so I'm just going to show you a few of them now here's a, a negative of that area and you can really see what looked like terraces and kind of polygonal, kind of rectangular structures all in rows. Okay, really cool. Um, let's pick one of these down here. Here's that what looked like a city area with roads. And I've enhanced this, obviously, I've enhanced the contrast so you can see it better. But I mean, this looks kind of more natural to me because there's no actual real rectangle structures here. There are some up here, but most of it's kind of polygonal and randomly kind of cracked shapes. So, who's to say either way, but to me, some of this really does look intelligent, uh, like this here. You've got rows and rows and rows of square, rectangular structures, all in long lines, lateral lines going across here. Now, these aren't orientated north. Um, I think I tilted the image slightly to get these straightened out a bit so you could see it better. So. Uh, that may indicate that they're not actual buildings. Generally, buildings are not orientated north, south, east, west, especially large intelligent structures. Uh, it doesn't mean small, smaller houses than that would be, but um, things like pyramids generally are. There is this one as well. There's a load of kind of square stuff here, and there's loads up here. I mean, a lot of it looks like paving slabs that have cracked, but, but actually, most of it is probably natural. But... Um, where was the best one there? I think one of the best ones was up here, this one. Yeah, you've got these lines of squares all over the place. So I won't go on too long because I can put all these in at the end in a minute for you and I'll have a little slideshow to show you these. Um, I'm struggling a bit today. I've got a bit of a cold and a sore throat, so my voice is about to go. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Clips will be coming up in a second. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and share on social media.